Hello everyone, Jake here with Unreal RPG Mastery. In this video, we're going to do the initial setup of our project and I'm going to talk about where you can download the animations and weapons used in this course. I'm going to create a fresh project using the third person template provided by Epic. And I'm going to call this one Melee Combat System. We provide the assets used in this course for free, so to get the assets used in this course, all you need to do is download the course files. The link to the course files will be in the description and in the pinned comment. Since these are free animations, they may not look as good as premium animations, but you can always change the animations later once you get better animations. So the first thing we want to do is create a new folder. We'll call this one Combat System. Now open the third person folder. Now move the Blueprints folder over into the Combat System folder. After you've done that, you can move the Maps folder into the Content folder if you want to. And right click and select Fix Up Redirections and Folder. Now you can go ahead and delete the third person folder. We don't need that anymore. After you've moved the map, we need to go to Edit, Project Settings, Maps and Modes, and make sure that you select the map here. Now go to Combat System, Blueprints. Now let's rename the third person character to Combat Character. Okay, now the next thing that we need to do is disable Foot IK, as we won't be covering Foot IK in this course. This will be a course that's about melee combat. So for Anim class, select the Browse to Asset icon and open up the ABP Manny. Highlight Control Rig and delete it. Everything is working fine, except the character's feet are now hovering above the ground. So to fix that, we need to change this value here. I'm going to set it to minus 95. The character is going through the ground a little bit too much. So I'm going to change that value to something like minus 92. Okay, that looks a lot better. And if you decide you want to change the mannequin, just make sure you select the one with the underscore sample in the name. Okay, now that you've done that, let's import the course files. I'm going to import them into the combat system folder. Let's go ahead and create a new folder in here. And we'll call this one course files. I'm going to start by importing the animations. It's going to ask for a skeleton. I'm going to select the UE5 mannequin and select import all. Okay, after you've imported all the animations, select save all. Go back to the course files folder. And now we need to import the meshes. Select import all. You have a warning there, that's fine. Go back to the course files folder and now import the sound effects. Select save all. Now that you've reached the end of the initial setup section, you should be all set up and ready to go. Next, we're going to start off with creating our base equipment. We teach a lot of mechanics in this tutorial series and I hope you're able to learn a lot from what we teach. Thanks for finishing this section. We're looking forward to seeing you in the next section.